Hey guys, even here, and just before the Budapest bodybuilding show, which is called Fit Parade, I know, pretty lame name for a bodybuilding show, Cedric McMillan posted a physique update. Cedric is definitely not known for being very active on his social media. He rarely posts any kind of physique updates, and this time we have a physique update of his, and he actually explains why he usually is out of shape at his shows. The description of this posing video was to whom it may concern, I, Cedric McMillan, post this video as digital verification that I do look halfway decent before this show Sunday, just in case my body goes to shit as it usually does when the anxiety kicks in. Furthermore, I might drink some alcohol before I go to the show, so if I slap somebody or do some freaky shit, don't hold it against me, <laughs> especially if it keeps the anxiety down. So as you can see right here in this video, he's looking halfway decent, he's looking conditioned. It's not horrible, it's not a mess like it was at the Mr. Olympia. Cedric McMillan and his conditioning is definitely a huge topic of discussion amongst all kinds of bodybuilding analysts, you know, bloggers, YouTubers, bodybuilders themselves, actual journalists and so on, and everybody is basically speculating. So what people are coming up with, you can check it out, but basically he says in this video that the reason why he is not in shape when it actually matters, when the show happens, is the anxiety. He's anxious on the stage and under anxiety, under stress, nobody's looking their best, of course, but it's just a matter of how high your anxiety is and then therefore how high your cortisol levels are and so on. So basically this is his reason or an excuse. It might be a lie. Cedric is a great guy. I love him. I love his personality. I love his charisma. I love his character. But who the hell knows if this is true what he's saying. Me personally, I never really had the impression that Cedric was trying hard enough for the Mr. Olympia or any other shows really. He came up to a certain level, maybe he just lost the passion and he doesn't want to push the envelope that hard. But maybe he's actually telling the truth, maybe he's always trying super hard, but anxiety kicks in at the last moment and his body just gets very watery. Which is something I don't really buy that easily, because if he was really dehydrated in the last day, if he had no water, almost no water, or very little water uh, for the last day of the competition, how would he get watery? I just don't really think that this is real, but maybe I'm wrong, maybe you guys know better. If you know better, tell me down below in the comment section. But do you buy this? Whatever you think, just let me know. Anyways, we do have somewhat of an explanation from Cedric himself. He addressed what everybody was talking about, the fact that he cannot get shredded enough ever, and that he has the potential to become the Mr. Olympia winner. He could have won the 2019 Mr. Olympia if he came peeled. Now, in this video, He's looking pretty, pretty lean. Not super diced, but there is still time. The competition is not going down until two days, so it's on Sunday, so he has two days to dry down, to get dry and to hope that anxiety doesn't kick in, and maybe even to get drunk, just like he said in the description of this video, that he's gonna drink some alcohol to relax. So hopefully it works, hopefully he will be dry, and hopefully he will win this show, but I don't know who else is competing though. But when Cedric is on, and when he's really on, he's basically unstoppable. This guy is genetics all day. He has everything. The only thing that he is lacking is conditioning. So if he can fix that, if he can actually come dry for once in his life, he may even end up being the best bodybuilder in the world. I can see that happening. But if he shows up once again like this, this is the Mr. Olympia 2019, I don't know, I mean, he basically plays high because of his genetics, because of the shape. If he shows up like this, he will still be good, he may even win this show, depending on who shows up, who else comes. But if he was dry, if he was conditioned like, for example, Sean Rodden 2018, he could win the Mr. Olympia so easily, because what is he lacking? Pretty much nothing. And he has the shape and the lines, and he looks even aesthetic, I mean, he has the small waist and those aesthetic lines, in the open, he is known as a classic guy, but he also has a ton of mass and he has a great presentation and the symmetry and proportions, lines, every single thing that is there, but conditioning. Conditioning is always a problem. Now, he gave us a reason or an excuse. He told us what is the problem. It's just anxiety. Do you guys buy this? Do you really think he's dieting hard enough and it's just anxiety that destroys him every time? It's actually interesting that yesterday I made a video on this topic and I talked about Cedric as well. 
I was talking about conditioning. So check that video out if you want, guys. And tell me what you think about this situation with Cedric. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.